All right, everyone, thank you so much for holding on. Um, so we're gonna get started now. Uh, and I just wanted to say, first of all, a huge thank you to everyone who's here. This is our first New On Loop webinar. This is something that we are planning to do more often. We are really excited about um, getting the opportunity actually to speak directly to our clients about new features, new channels, new programs that we're launching. So thank you all for being here. This is our first one and we're really excited about it. Um, so I did want to do a quick couple of introductions. Go first. My name is Grant. I'm the director of digital strategy at Loop. I work on a lot of fronts, social, obviously work on these webinars. Um, and I'm really, really excited about sharing with you some of the new things that we've launched recently on Loop. Patrick, do you want to do a quick intro as well? Yeah. Hi there, all. I'm actually not on video right now, but I'm Patrick. I work with our client services team. So I work with the people that will you know, give you a call, get you online, um, deal with a lot of the kind of different issues and just getting everybody set up uh, as they get their loop players online and activated. So I'll be kind of sitting in to help answer some questions and, you know, see some of the new features as well. Okay, that's a great segue um, into my next point. So we're gonna be talking about new features, new content, new programs. We're also here to answer questions. Um, so the way that we've got that set up now is the Q&A function. You should see at the bottom of the screen, Q&A, you can click on that and ask us questions. You can actually answer, uh, you can ask questions anonymously if you want. So don't be afraid. We're happy to answer them throughout uh, the webinar and we'll actually be leaving a little bit of time um, after each little section to speak directly to your questions and answer them live. Um, lastly, uh, in addition to us kind of, you know, giving you this information that we can today, we are really interested in having um, all of you give your input. So we've created what is called a poll um, in Zoom webinars. And so the poll will show up in your browser afterwards. It'll also be sent out in an email after. It's four simple questions based around the content today. Um, it's just going to be asking you what features, what channels, what programs you'd like to see. And then if you have any suggestions for the webinar, again, this is our first one. So we are open to any suggestions. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Uh, the first thing that we're going to show you is a couple of the new features that we've launched on Loop. Are you looking for a simple way to see all of the channels that Loop has and figure out which one is right for your business? Well, Loop has recently launched a first of its kind recommendation service to help you select the right channel for your business. Interested in trying out the channel recommender? You can head to our website at loop.tv or you can actually access it on our business portal at biz.loop.tv. If you're accessing the digital assistant through our website, go ahead and click chat support in the bottom right hand corner. Once you've begun chatting, select channels to begin the flow. You'll answer some simple questions about your preferences, including what kind of channels you like and how family friendly you'd like your content to be. Once you've answered all of the questions, the digital assistant will give you a sampling of all of the channels that are relevant based on your answers. Do you wanna see all of our available channels and maybe even get some recommendations on what to play in your business? Head to loop.tv slash channels. We'll also flash up a quick QR code so you can scan it on your phone if you wanna try it out right now. So Loop really is audio free and one of the features that we're really excited about is AI generated subtitles on news channels. These subtitles are generated live using artificial intelligence that analyzes the audio from the TV and they can be turned on on any channel where the host is speaking. This is a pretty easy one to turn on. Just head to the widget section of the player, navigate to news captions and select show captions on news channels. Now you've got nice automatically generated captions and you can turn them off just as easily by navigating back to the same place. One piece of feedback that we had been getting from a lot of our clients is that people wanted to be able to turn off all of their players at once. Say their business closes at 9 p.m. They don't wanna to have to go ahead and click every single player off at closing. If you've got a ton of TVs, this could be laborious, so we just launched a new feature that creates a coordinated on-off time for your Loop TV. You just navigate to the settings panel, scroll down to turn off this TV when your business is closed, and set a time when you want to turn the TV off. To use this feature, ensure that your TV supports HDMI CEC and enable it in your TV's settings. Manufacturers may refer to HDMI CEC by various names like Ananet on Samsung, Bravia Link on Sony, or Simplink on LG. All right, do we have any karaoke enthusiasts? Because one of our latest features that we've just launched on Loop TV is music video lyrics. This function is very similar to the captions function. It uses AI to add the lyrics to the video on screen. 
We do make some edits to videos to make sure that they are appropriate for your business. So sometimes these videos are a little bit out of sync with the lyrics provided, but most videos work pretty well right away. So again, we're very excited about a lot of these new features. I think um, one theme that you'll probably see underpinning a lot of the new features that we've launched is using AI to make smart, smart recommendations for your business, um, finding ways to, you know, uh, create news captions or give you intelligent channel recommendations. We've worked a lot with our partner Pipestream who manages our chatbot to essentially create a really powerful um, chat assistant that can help you with a lot of problems. Um, if of course, you know, no members of our great support team are available to help you right away. Um, again, just gonna give you a prompt to please use the Q and A function if you'd like um, to ask us questions about this. Uh, you know, about the features that we've just launched. We're going to get into some channels. Um, I won't spend too much time waiting, but we will give time in between each little segment to speak to you directly about your questions. Um, so now, really quickly, we wanted to go ahead and get into some channels uh, that we've just launched recently on our platform, including one that we actually just launched yesterday. We're going to show you a quick reel of all of the channels that we've launched recently, plus some simple descriptions of the channels. Kevin Gate drops by to talk being immortal and his viral moment. This is Billboard News. And Obi-Wan Kenobi scored a surprise nod for best limited or anthology series or movie. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor. So those are some of the great new channels that we've just recently launched. I also wanted to get into a couple of other channels that we just launched, uh, one that we just launched today, um, and a few more that are coming up just to give you a heads up on what's on the horizon. So recently just launched yesterday, Def Jam's Recordings, 50th anniversary of hip hop channel. This is a great channel if you're a hip hop head. Um, it features lots of great artists, including you know Jay-Z, some of the greats from Def Jam. Um, so we highly recommend you go and check it out. Um, we've also got a few upcoming channels that I wanted to highlight. Uh, so the Waypoint TV channels um, include Waypoint Fishing and Waypoint Hunting. These are great options uh, for anyone trying to set really a great outdoorsy um, vibe in their business. Also for, you know, fishing or tackle shops that really want to set the mood for a big excursion, hunting shops, um, any sort of places that are looking, you know, to really set the mood for an outdoorsy excursion. We did have one question, which is really more of a comment. Um, just loving the Def Jam edition. Great to hear that. Um, we're really excited about it too. Our music team is constantly working to debut channels uh, that are relevant to your interests. Um, and we are really excited about things like Def Jam. We've got another one in the works that I can't talk about yet because we're getting it cleared. Um, but rest assured, we're trying to launch new things all of the time. Patrick, I do see a question here about the sports ticker. Um, the sports ticker gets in the way of captions. Is there a way to raise the height of the caption if the widget is enabled? Um, something similar happens with the business logo, sometimes clipped by other objects. Um, we will confer with our tech team to figure out uh, if it's possible to move the uh, ticker out of the way of the captions. Um, I'm actually not sure of that myself. Patrick, do you know? So we can't do that now, but that's, you know, another great reason for having these webinars is that would be great because there are some, like if you have the weather widget up and other ones, they do get in the way of each other. So that's something we'll definitely have to look into how to add it and maybe put different positions. You can put these widgets in so that you can further customize your experience. So I don't think it's possible now, but I definitely think that that's something that we will add to our service now that, you know, we realize we can. A, another question um, that came in is how many players can a business have? 
Uh, so at this point, we are capping the number of players for business at five. Patrick, anything else to comment on there? It's yeah, it's five. We do offer a subscription service, so we can only offer five ad supported players per business. But if you do have a bigger venue, then we are offering a subscription service as well, where you'll pay a monthly subscription fee. All right. Thank you for that, Patrick. Um, again, thanks for the questions. Please feel free to use them. And I actually do appreciate people even just using the Q&A function to leave us comments. We do love that. So um, we're lastly just going to get into new programs that we've launched. So we're always listening to feedback from our clients, but most of that has been anecdotally. Now Loop is actually launching a broad survey for the first time of our entire customer base to understand what you love about our platform and what you might change about it. Our partner is called Simple Opinions. They'll be doing a broad survey of our current offerings, programs, and more to hear what you all want to see from Loop. Loop Local is a really cool project that we are hopefully launching soon that allows you to get in front of potential customers in your area. We're giving customers the ability to advertise on local screens and putting those screens to work for you, our clients. Our vision for this project is that you'll have a simple portal where you can go to upload ads and run them on local Loop screens in your area. This project is in beta and we're currently testing it with some of our clients, so keep an open ear for updates. Now this is a project that we're really excited about. Design Huddle is one of our new partners that we're working with to help you take control of your digital signage. Design Huddle is going to be helping us integrate their software into our platforms and allow you to actually design your digital signage within our business portal. The interface is very similar to modern design programs like Canva, and it allows you to either work from our templates or start from scratch. Ever since we started offering digital signage for our clients, so many of them have found it to be a really effective tool for reaching their audiences. Uh, we want to keep allowing you to leverage our solutions to meet your business goals. All right, so just really quickly on both of those programs, Loop Local and uh, Design Huddle. Um, these are two programs that we're very, very excited about. Um, I think that something that we're passionate about at Loop is helping you harness the full power of your screens, right? We provide entertainment, um, but we also provide digital signage tools. And we found that a lot of our clients have found the digital signage to be equally as useful as the entertainment options. These two new options uh, for these programs are meant to help you better utilize your screens to meet your business goals. Design Huddle especially um, is very similar to a lot of contemporary design programs and that it's quite simple. If you've ever just tried to make your own digital signage in Photoshop, this is going to be a lot easier. And the ideal um, scenario is that this would be embedded within the business portal. So it's actually something that you can make within the business portal, upload directly, um, should save a lot of people a lot of hassle. So we're quite excited about that. Loop Local ideally is launching quite soon. If you are interested in that, you can email me, grant at loop.tv for more info. Um, we do have a couple of clients who are beta testing it, but look out uh, for emails from us. We will be letting you know when that is launched soon enough. Um, I do see we have one more question and maybe that Patrick took one question uh, off of here. So Patrick, did you have one to already answer? Yeah. So I've answered a couple um, in the Q&A, if you guys can see. I've typed out answers while we we're um, talking. But for Roberto's question, is there a way to schedule your own content to appear and stop appearing at certain times and or dates? There is. So when you are uploading uh, your digital signage to that signage library, as you upload each asset, it'll in that little box, they'll have the little check boxes for each day. So you can decide if you want it to display on certain days. And then there's also uh, drop down windows for times. So if you want it to start at a certain time each day and end at a certain time, you can. And then also um, with that, there's start and end dates for the signage piece itself. So for example, if you have an event coming in two weeks and you want to advertise from now until the day of the event, you can put, um, you know, start 8-8 and then end 8-26 and the it will no longer show that piece of signage um, past that date. And then for the next one, Debbie's question, I think that's kind of what Grant was just talking about with the loop local. And we'll be advertising on, we'll be able to offer advertising on other loop uh, businesses and you'll be able to create them in there. That's coming soon. We don't have a launch date yet, but we are definitely working out the kinks now and we want to make sure it's a perfect service by the time we get it out to you guys. 
Right. The idea for Loop Local would be that it is self-service. I believe for right now, we are having you communicate with members of our team and we are able to then um, upload your signage. It's quite simple in terms of what you need to participate. It's just a very simple video that promotes your business. We do recommend audio free just because so many of Loop's channels are audio free. Um, you can get interactive with QR codes. Basically think of this as a good way to showcase your brand to other local businesses. The targeting capabilities are pretty great. Um, again, if you're interested in this, you can email me at grant at loop.tv. I can connect you with our team. Um, Sonia Robinson says, love this. Great to hear that. We try to display some status pages internally to let our employees know if something is down. Unfortunately, some of these status pages aren't SSL. Is there an update coming to allow non-HTTPS pages? I'm not sure on that one. Patrick, any idea on updates around non-HTTPS uh, pages? This unfortunately is also out of my wheelhouse. Um, we have been changing the signage and I think with the loop local, there will be more options, but let me see if I can get an answer to this real quick. If there's any other questions we can jump to. It looks like that actually is the last question, but um, luckily we should have all of the webinar attendees uh, and, you know, we've got the name for this question, so we can actually send you an email follow-up afterwards if we can't get a quick answer on it right away. Does anyone else have any other questions, suggestions, the things that you thought you could do with our service? We do have another question about those of us who want to promote Loop to other businesses. So I'll answer that really quickly. Um, so we have an affiliate program. Uh, we were running it for um, quite a while. We are currently reworking it and revamping it, making it a better offering for you and for the businesses that sign up. Um, we are actually thinking about having a monthly webinar for affiliates as well. So as soon as that program relaunches, we'd be happy to send you all more information about it. But yes, we do have an affiliate program um, that allows you to essentially use a promo code um, or a link to sign people up. You can actually sign people up yourself um, using the affiliate portal and gain revenue essentially long-term from uh, those signups. We have good news for you, Ben. We actually just upgraded our hardware in the last uh, two months. I think we're finally out of the old stock. And so the Wi-Fi chip was a little bit of a problem with the older player. So um, if you send us an email, we can get you a new player and see if that just is a little bit more stable for you. One client says they're using Canva um, to create ads. Uh, Canva's not technically a partner, but we recommend them to a lot of our clients because they're free um, and very cheap to be able to do a good job. Um, I think some of the other sites that we recommend, I say to go to Unsplash. Uh, Unsplash and Pexels are really great free use photo sites if you're looking to put together free signage. Um, Fiverr and Upwork are great third parties that allow you to hire people directly. But part of our interest in an internal program that allows you to design signage is that we don't have official partners yet who are creating signage for our clients. And we know that that's a desire amongst the clients. So to this question, can we send information on the previous affiliate program, um, potentially? I think that it's more likely that we'll send you all information on the revamped one because we are changing a lot of the ways that we approach this. Um, it was a new program that we uh, went ahead with a couple of years ago. We found it to be successful, but we learned a lot from it. We want to make sure to revamp it to make it better for you all, better for potential clients and more organized. Awesome. Good news on the Bluetooth. The device, if you have the speakers in pairing mode, You'll have to go into the Android settings. So if you hit the home button on the loop, so it's got the picture with the the button the button on the remote with the little home on it, you'll click that and then go all the way over to Android settings to pair with Bluetooth. But the device does have that capability. So uh, Donald Towns, loop players, we do have the rewards program for our ad based uh, service, and so that will be twenty dollars per player at the end of the month if you hit the two hundred and eighty hours of uptime. So that's about eight hours a day. So uh, that's usually paid out on the first of the following month after you earn the reward, it'll be paid out. So for example, for the month of August, you'll get your reward that you can redeem on September 1st. And that's up to two players per location that we'll send that reward for. All right, we are up against our time now for the webinar. Um, but 
Thank you for all of your questions. I hope you were able to get some answers. I hope you're excited about some of the new things that we've got coming up on Loop and some of the new programs that we've launched. Just putting a plug out there, if you are a new client um, and you're still getting the hang of Loop itself, we're going to be having another webinar next week, same time, same day on Tuesday. Uh, Patrick's actually going to be leading that one, and it's specifically for new clients. We're going to be going over the hardware, the business portal. Um, again, you can look for that on our socials. We'll be sending out an email blast and probably a text blast out about it as well. Um, thank you guys so much for your questions. Patrick, any final words before I close this out? No, I think um, that next one, I'll do a lot of the tips and tricks I've kind of figured out helping, you know, thousands of customers get their players online and seeing what works in different types of you know, venues and such. So that's that'll be a good one just to kind of find out some cool features the player may, you might have had that you didn't know about. Um, but yeah, definitely reach out with questions. We love suggestions. You know, we exist for our customers. We want to make sure you guys are, you know, having a good business. And we're helping you out. So all suggestions are welcome and appreciated. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully see some of you at the webinar next week. Thanks for your questions and for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon.